Kerr wants it. Little clap of the hands. Smith now. Marchant. Still, those blue shirts are swarming everywhere. So quickly back up on their feet in that defensive line. Another poke through from Smith. This is a good one. And the try is scored. Terrific job. Hammond is in. And Harlequins finally. Play on, says the referee, Bularuna. Oh, lovely interplay with Aldri. Super tackle by Turner on Sanzel. Oh, it's a try for the corner. Bularuna and scintillating rugby in this Heineken Cup match. La Rochelle ignite this wonderful arena. Such a tight battle. And once again, Exodus Scrum providing them with a lovely platform. Simmons breaks away. Slade pops it on its way. Sent wide. O'Flaherty waiting. And drops down. The bonus point. When you're down there at the coal face. Weighs up his options, thinks about the pass to Jack Knoll. There's just so much space, got to be 30, That's 40 yards of space out. Villar. Once more pack, once more forwards involved here. They're going to pick and go. It's taken up by Kovalakalu. Still there. Villar. Out it goes, little cross field kick. Is there too much on that one? Penno! Did he get that down? I think he thinks he has. Well, on our first thoughts, on this angle, Rory Best, it looks like he did get it down. We're gonna it. Yeah, we're going to slow it down. Here we go. Certainly does look like a try from the Mar expert point of view. There you go, down with pressure. No question. Playing with an advantage here, Sale. No. Might they be about to snuff out the Bristol challenge? De Klerk, back to Dupria. High it goes, and play. it's evaded Didn't everybody, bar Ross. It's a penalty try. Time off. Does Harry Randall Leave play him? I don't know what's happening. No. To play yeah, he's onside, yeah. Frank, onside. so we can move on to the next bit. No problem. This Sexton. Change there in the uh, Reds direction with Frawley. Oh, well, look at that from Robbie Henshaw. It looked impossible to find a way through. A maze in front of him, but... He did find a way through, and Sexton, and this will be O'Brien again in O'Brien's corner. Making it his own, Leicester come right back, that's what Bath could ever form. Yeah, it was a Bath defend defensive error, you can see McNanny, he doesn't get into position early, and Henshaw doesn't need an invitation into no, a big space okay. like that. And simple skills from Johnny Sexton, taking the ball to the line, which yeah, welcomes up the Bath defence. and. <laughs> Managed to hold on to it, only just. And Dupont with it all slowed down, kicks and quite beautifully for Bonneval. He's done it again as Antoine Dupont. What a creator. We saw him finish, but by and large, he has set up to lose. Anything on, really. Just takes a few steps, powers it. I think he ends up winding Bonneval because the kick was so strong. Just huge, brilliant vision from a world-class player. And actually it was a different type of kick selection. It wasn't a cross field that had a lot of height. He kept it really low, which meant there was no chance for Josh Adams to get up in the air. We know how good he is at competing for it. There was just... Penalty on the way. Harry Wells shuffles it back to Leitinunga. Rafael clearing it for Youngs, who has a look down the left-hand side. Down Submerged himself under the defence, several metres short of the try line, to make sure that he got there. And it's another try for another hooker. Too much space on this blind side. Ben Youngs flies that pass. You've got two players defending a 15 metre channel. Just gives Q and Marmion too much work to do. Connor need to mark up that blind side so much better. He's, uh, he scored six tries in the Gallagher Premiership. And now Leicester turning the screw on that scrum again. He's uh, 
Well, at least Connacht didn't give the penalty away, but the crossfield kick Come comes on. and Mura Muravalo is in position. And from that distance, with that strength and that pace, you are not going to stop him. Genj and his mates did not get them in the penalty, but it forced Marmion to be sucked in in defence. And obviously the overlap now is even worse, but I think Brian is right. They were too tight from the get-go. And Kini Murimurivalu, he's not Nemani Nandolo, 